Okay, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, let's see. Where's everybody? It's time already. Come on. Come on, come on, guys. Martha. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Martha. You say my name. You're the first one here. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> How are you, my dear? I'm good, teacher. Today, not so bad because was my day off. Really? Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. So what did you do today? Well, I rest a lot. I watch TV. Um, let me see. I rest more blood. <laughs> My day was a, a very relaxed teacher. All right. Yeah. And you? Well, working. I'm studying. I'm studying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else can I do? I gotta work and work and work. So 
I mean, nothing new actually. I mean, I've been like quite busy. I had a very busy day actually, because uh -huh. many, many activities and one of my co-workers was absent. Well, two oh actually God. in the afternoon and and I had to- Not alone. Yeah, the problem was that I had to take care. I mean, I was in charge of everything. Okay. And that's not that easy because you know uh, a lot of people to work with and coordinate how to how Many to cover some classes. Um, yeah. And I mean, I know how to do that. I have done it before. But it's easy when they tell you beforehand, but when they just lay it down to you, like in the same day, you start like, ouch. Yeah. It's more difficult. Yeah, and trying to coordinate also for tomorrow, my day, because I gotta do any activities I need to go tomorrow. Well, I need to connect for one of my classes early in the morning, then I need to be, to go teach a class. I'm gonna be like receiving my class while driving. Then oh, uh, then I am, I need to connect to another class that I'm going to be receiving. Then at noon at lunch, I need to go pick up some books for my son's university. And also I'm gonna be in another class. I have to teach a class from 1.30 to 3.30. As soon as I finish that, I am connecting to another class. So oh, teacher, it's a very busy be your schedule for tomorrow. Yeah, and supposedly I have a meeting at 5 p.m. So, you see, a normal day for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, many stuff to do, but you know, that's the way it goes. What can I do? Yes, teacher. What can I do? I mean, that's the job, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the job. That's the job. And I mean, there's not much we can do about it. Okay, just let me. Do a little something. Thank you very much, Marta. A pleasure to have you here in my class. You're welcome, teacher. As usual. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, guys. I'm just checking on something that uh, doesn't really make sense to me. Mm. Okay, guys, just give me a second. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Jose Wilfredo, how are you? So far, so good, teacher. Thanks for asking. What about you? Well, you know, same old, same old. What can I tell? What can I tell? I mean, it's like uh, working. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, teacher. I know. How was your day? Your vacation? Yeah, I'm on vacation today. Mm, I want to buy a replacement piece. Or yeah, a a, could be a replacement piece of car parts to be replaced. Okay, parts for my car. Parts of parts for my car. For my car. Yeah. Yeah. 
when you say when you say parts, you are referring specifically to repuesto, we call them. Uh -huh. Okay. So I have to buy one tire bearing of one of my micro buses. So it's expensive teacher. I never I never buy it, but until today I know how much is it. Okay. But I have to I have to replace because the 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 part is damaged. So okay, which is one tire tire bearing? Okay. Yeah, and yeah, is for one of the rear a tire, so it's really expensive. I couldn't hear. It you was do say. it was doing this or it was no uh, that that tire make uh one some particular. Oh yeah. I know. When is that then, it, then it was doing this, but slightly. Mm -hmm. Similar yeah, to that's what right. We call here uh, what we we commonly call like uh, the sound that uh, buffas do. Yeah, for the car was cheaper, but for the microbus is expensive. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I got the same problem with one of so the cars. So today I pass a big part of my day with the mechanic. Well, but the good thing is that you got the time right now and that's, yeah. that helps, that helps. Uh, yeah, that, you know, that. I got, I got that problem that uh, I need to, I need to take my, my car, one of my cars to the mechanic, but the problem is that I don't have time. And I almost know which is the problem, but even if, I know even if I know I don't have the time to go buy the part because I need yeah. to I need just to to pick it up and check something take off one tire check if it's the the what we call the in Spanish I don't know the name in English the tijera or if it's the um, esfera or perhaps it's the support the support for the engine shock absorber no oh huh. because this uh, whenever, whenever you are turning right or left, when the mm -hmm. the weight of the car goes to the side, you hear uh -huh. a tool, a tool. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. the only options are those three. Any of those three is the problem. Yeah, that's right. And and I know how to do it, but I don't have the time. Yeah, I know, teacher. I know, and it's necessary to be um, to be observing. Yeah, and the and the thing is that I mean, uh, if if it's any of those three things, even if it's the shock absorber, it's not mm -hmm. like big deal. I mean, it's not something that are going to affect me moving from place to place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the noise gets on my nerves mm -hmm. the noise is getting on my nerves so uh, i don't know perhaps next week next week instead of taking the car i'm gonna be taking the motorcycle to go to work and we'll see but as i tell you good thing in your case is that you got time enough in order to perform those activities yes yes the true i know and yes. besides that i need to take the motorcycle to the mechanic also <laughs> so you have to invest a lot of yeah well not that much right now in three months i need to change clutch from the other card not the one that i'm using right now but the other card that's gonna be expensive yes i know teacher i know we're talking like like between five or six hundred Due to the five or six of five or six hundred. Yeah. Okay. The problem Richard. is that it's a small engine, but the problem is yeah. that the car is uh, is from the agency. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I know what is what does mean. Richard, just let me one moment, please. I need to no pick problem, up something. No problem. No okay, problem. Thanks. Let's see who else I need is to pick, around. I, I need to pick the food, Richard, oh, that is food. coming. 
That's great. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Enjoy. Maria Alejandra. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? Just great. Fine. Here. Ready to start my class. No, but... Teacher. Yeah, tell me. You give me the secret. Uh, how you do a lot of energy for do a lot of thing in the same day. <laughs> oh well, easy. You need to be. You need to be in depth up to here, and that will be the key. And it's gonna be easy for you. <laughs> Really, it is pretty good. You have a, good a very good distribution yeah. for your time. <laughs> yeah, but when, it, when you get in depth up to here, man, you know, <laughs> you need more time to work. <laughs> okay, teacher, it's yeah, good. As, as I been said, it's the best motivation ever. Stuff to pay. <laughs> yes. It's a yeah. good secret. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, the problem right now is that I still got Sundays free. I need to work on Sundays. Ah, well, it's a little, it's for a little time, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, no, mostly when I work Sundays, I just work like two, three hours. Oh, okay. The it's problem good. is that the problem is that when I work like that, usually those are like private classes. Um, and that's that's good money for me. Okay. So, I mean, when I get it, I'm happy. It's good. But if <laughs> not, I mean, that's all. That's, I mean, Sundays for me, if I get something, is the, the, the extras, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, it's nice it's nice but it's also i mean a little bit of stress not that much really you know personalized class for me are not stressful oh, okay. i rather enjoy them <laughs> yeah. okay yeah and it's a whole different story what about you how's everything how was your day what did you do today um i in the morning, I stay in my granny house because it's at the business for my mother. At noon, I return for the apartment and I stay here, I connect. And today I had a, a business day. I have, I have a lot of busy day. Uh -huh. I have a lot of cases and I did the area, the sales or how commercial area uh, demanding a lot of for the time of the cases to respect a uh, 25 minutes. And it's very stressful because uh, send a lot of uh, emails to ask for the different cases and I don't know. In this time, I feel that the um, se está haciendo como una relación así como bien de presión. No sé cómo decirlo. Uh, I understand you. I understand uh -huh. you. But I think that the my boss in talk with the uh, project managers in Miami, and uh, I told her. He talk and respect for this because I don't know it's very complicated. Send a lot, uh, receive a lot of message, and, and I think that the team don't work, didn't work good or better. Okay, well, you know that always happens in jobs. Oh, wow. yes, but then it's okay. Today I ate sushi. <laughs> Don't eat fries. Uh, sushi? Si. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you like it? Sushi. Yes, but I learned to 
um, to eat because when I taste for the first time, I don't like. I didn't. I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an acquired taste. Uh -huh. It's an acquired taste, but yeah, I mean, you know, in my case, I've eaten sushi, it's not, it's not bad, but it's not like something like for me, it's like, wow, it's like, <laughs> it's okay, it's, it's full. It's yeah. edible. Uh -huh. It's something that I can eat, but I mean, no, no, it doesn't excite me to eat sushi. <laughs> like this, uh, when you have a uh, antojo, I don't know, teacher, how do you say? Yeah, it? I know what you mean. No, but hmm, as I told you, I mean, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know, when I have a, when I actually, in English, we don't say antojo like that, because if you try to, to, to get the exact word, it will be whim. Mm. But whim is not like exactly the idea you want to express. In this case, what you can say is when, because you say when it's, it's closer to say um, capricho. Ah. And you say when. So in English, the expression, we don't have a, a specific word for that idea. What we say is when you fancy uh. something, when you fancy something, is this word? Okay. Uh -huh. When you fancy something, it's uh, it's nice. I mean, once in a while. I, you <laughs> know, with that word fancy, you can also use it for people. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. but not in that sense. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I understand, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, no. Uh, when you say that you fancy perhaps someone or a situation, it means uh, hmm. It means that, uh, it's somebody that you like, but you gotta be careful. So you better not use it like that. But mostly you use it with uh, with stuff like like I tell you, you know, I fancy uh -huh. a cup of coffee in the afternoon every other day. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Or in this case, when you find when you fancy something once in a while, it's cool. That's the closest for an Antonio. Yeah, but you know, yeah, Suchi, I mean, as I tell you, it's not bad for me, but it's not like something that I fancy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the same case. I today only have an opportunity to buy because I ha have a promotion in uh, the app Augo and it's very cheaper. It was cheap. Uh huh. And only take usually up. that dish is not. Uh huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Okay. Perfect. That's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Maria Alejandra, welcome. <laughs> okay, teacher. Working teacher. Let's see. Anna Claudia. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm doing very well. Thanks God, or thankfully, <laughs> today's Friday. No, tomorrow is hell for me. <laughs> I know, I, I don't know. It, this, I had the same question, like Maria Alejandra told you, I don't know how you have the energy. Uh, to, well, to... you know the answer I gave her. My God, my God. No, but that's you need to rest. Best, that's the best of explanations. 
<laughs> but you need to rest. Today, my I feel my brain so tired. It's asking me to go to sleep now. <laughs> Really? Well, no, you are not allowed to go to sleep now. I know, I know, but my brain feels in that way. My body says I must to be here. <laughs> but yes, uh, it, um, I can say it's a good day. Uh, this was uh, an excellent week because of the two days of, of the conference I told you, I guess, yeah. the day uh, before yesterday. Uh, we learned a lot. Uh, it was so good because we uh, been presented with new products, new features, different things, and that's good because that uh, puts us puts us no that makes us to be. I don't know how to put in good position. Make us no. How would it be better? Let us be or or zeros. Zeros in a good position. Ah, uh, okay. Or places us in a good uh, position. Ah, it's better place. Okay, that places in a good position uh, between our competitors. Mm, and, and that's good because uh, the product... In a good position from... From. Yeah, from our competitors. Our competitors, okay. And that's good, so... Um, getting ready to close the month and this month is running slow in my case is running slow but still missing next week so let's see what's going on yeah well you know that happens you know particularly yes. in sales there are pretty good months and and, and i've experienced it here. Bad. Yeah. and i've experienced months that in one day my whole scenario changed and I achieve in one day, sometimes in one sale, with one customer. <laughs> yeah. My my commissions and my revenue goal change. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm that happens. Mm -hmm. That happens, but but it doesn't mean that you have to lay back and take it easy. And oh no no no! For you need example, to keep on keep on. Exactly because I have a I have a a pipeline. Can I use? Yes, I have a pipeline. And uh, there are some accounts I need to follow up. And sometimes I'm getting surprises because uh, October, November, December, and also January, I've been January, closing. January. 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 Okay, January. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Anna Claudia. Uh -huh. Sorry to interrupt you. No, ya, no, ya. 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 Remember the song here? January. Okay. January. January. January, January. Okay. Let's do yes. something, Ana Claudia. Okay, mm -hmm. I need you to to, to put uh, straight mm -hmm. up. Okay. okay. When you say sha, I need you to push your stomach like you are making pressure. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You are yeah. you are pushing. Then you will feel the the not the intake of air, the air going out and the sound coming yeah. here. Sha, yeah. sha. Yeah. The sound yeah. is. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. I okay. yeah, like that. Channel, channel. If you see me with my stomach, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing is, this you know, uh, actually, at the beginning, you feel it like kind of weird, but actually, uh -huh. that's part of, of, of us speaking because I mean, First time what is the sound? Tells me the best way to pronounce it, January, January. Yeah, right. yeah but well, I mean, what, my, what I was about to tell you is that I've been closing deals. I have been working since 2019 and due to pandemic, they Ooh. stopped. So uh, that is why I'm telling you, uh, I had days where with just one customer, I've been reaching my goal. So that's, that's good. So I'm positive. Um, um, expecting to close good deals next week. So let's see what's happening. That's nice. That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. And let's hope everything comes out okay for you. Welcome mm -hmm. to the class, Claudia. Thank you, teacher. Guys, let me get the attendance, please. I'm Barili Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. 
Thank you, Daniel. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Francisco. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Senso de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Sanderón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Thank you, Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Milman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarroso. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see. I still got some minutes. It's a Friday, you know. Today we are going to check out on some grammar. Then we are going to have uh, a little bit of vocabulary, mostly vocabulary and new vocabulary, a little bit technical. We're going to get a little bit technical, but I'm going to explain some vocabulary beforehand because it's uh, a little bit complex. But before that, we still got time. So I'm going to make the most out of this time. Let's see, Ambar, hello, how are you? Well, perhaps she's having problems. Let's see who. Sorry, teacher. Ah, there you are. Can you repeat me the question? But how are you? That's the question. <laughs> I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine. And tell me, ready for vacation? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> So what you start vacation you? tomorrow or Monday? Tomorrow is my last day in in my work. And my first day uh, of vacation is Monday. Monday, yes. On Monday. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. So how was it today? A good day at work? Yes, sir. It was a good day because I I have a lot of job, a lot of work, and well, a good day. Thank you for asking. That's great. That's great. That's great. So, uh, you know, something happens when we are like almost there for vacation. I mean, the last day you feel like, oh man, I'm tired. I need the vacation, right? Or, yes, yes. Or some of us gets like anxious, like I want this day to finish now. Yes, how do you say, estoy contando los minutos? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, you watch the clock and you say, man, this thing doesn't move. Yes, I missing only four hours for my oh, vacation. Those, I'm sorry to tell you this, but those are going to be very long hours. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but yeah. tomorrow the last day yeah i mean that's cool that's cool so you have permission to stay up late and to to sleep late that's nice well no you told me you cannot sleep late right no because uh, i have a natural clock and my pets <laughs> oh yeah yeah i remember i remember having a, a pet we used to have a cat, you know? And my cat, 
every single day at exactly 5.30 a.m. Exactly. Was, was mewing, mewing, that's a verb, you know? In my case, that's I have two pets, actually, one cat and one dog. <laughs> you know, this is a verb. Meow, meow, meow. meow. <laughs> yeah, that's a verb. That's a verb. It expresses the sound that the cat does. Okay, yeah, I remember my cat doing that every single day next to my bell sometimes because he needed to get out. Man, that was crazy. Yes, how how do you say ellos se suben a la cama y están? Oh, well, you know, actually my cat didn't used to do that. The only problem that I had with that cat was uh, like uh, if I was like uh, if I fell asleep in the sofa, I used to wake up with the cat on top of me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool. Yeah. Well, let's hope you have a good time and you make the best of your vacation, Amber. Welcome to the class. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Osorio, hello. Jose. Hmm, perhaps not ready yet. Mr. Guardado, Wilfredo, how are you? Fine, teacher. How's everything? Oh, okay. Ready for the weekend? Ready, ready. Ready to Playing rest soccer? a lot. Nah, you don't rest. Yes, you tomorrow soccer. I'm going to play. At 1 p.m. I'm going to start to play. Ooh, it man. is racing sour, teacher. That hour is terrible for playing. Sometimes, teacher, do you, have you have you been in Metapan for this season? Yeah. It is so hard. Or Texas, yeah. around Texas. Too. Yes. Pretty hard. It is good to play soccer because, yes, yes. Yes, but it is nice. You it know, is nice. In my case, no way. I'm not play. I'm not playing soccer during early in the afternoon, like one, two p.m. No way. That's crazy. I mean, I will faint. <laughs> Maybe see as you <laughs> So, and that's tomorrow. What about Sunday? You gonna play again? Arrest. I guess that I, I will go to play too on Sunday, but um, in the morning I need to go to the church. Oh, that's to go to church in the morning. Yes, because um, and my my youngest, all my my son, he he start to to give you his his service for the church and. Uh, Three three weeks ago. Oh, that's great. Yes. They yeah, they but... tell me. No, 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 no. You tell me, please. And, um my my middle and my my youngest kid and they 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 sing in the church. Then oh, that's they, nice. They they sing the psalm. I don't know how I can say psalms. Psalms. Psalm. Only L S. Like like this psalms. Ah. Now you get a P at the beginning. Psalms. Yeah, but yeah. in and um, uh, let me let me see. In another church, they they don't they don't sing sing it. Yeah. But here where I I go. And yeah, I remember general, you sending me a video once, right? 
Yes, I guess. Yeah, you sent me a video once of them singing. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's great, great, both things that they can sing and that they do it at church. I mean, yes. it's, yes, it's good, it it's values, and that's very important on, on, on kids. It's As I like, I enjoy go with kids. them. Nice. Yes. Listen, Alfredo, Tell me I teacher, enjoy, what about you? I enjoy going. I enjoy going. It is like I to say going. You don't say I enjoy go. You say I enjoy going. Ah, going with them. Yes. Ah, I'm okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's nice that you can share those experiences with them. It's yes. Perfect. Yes, it is. It is so nice. And tell me, teacher, what about you? What are you going to do? Me? Oh man, tomorrow, as I was explaining to someone, it's crazy. Well, besides that, I need to be receiving classes all along the day. So I'm going to be like driving, listening to my class, and disconnecting from the class, then teach, then connect back to another class, then teach, then connect again for another class, then having a meeting at 5 p.m. So I'm going to be free <laughs> around 6 30, perhaps. 6 30 is something. Oh, I just remember that I got a meeting Sunday at 10 30 in the morning. But I will have Sunday afternoon free. So perhaps I will I will plan some classes. So, hey, teacher. Uh, yeah. I the next month or in two months, maybe I will start electrician. You will start? Oh, really? Electricity? Yes. 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 Electricity, okay. yes. What I, for? What I, time? I always. I, I uh, guess. Which uh, area of electricity are you going to get into? Um, I get need. I, I, I need to get the technical. Technical. Um, I don't know what I remember who uh, which is the name, the, the course, but it is. I have to go for two years, but I I told with I, to, yesterday I told with the the in charge of the of this course, but she told me the the woman told me that I can get um, equivalences. Of, yeah, I, I know. Because, so you're gonna get into electrotechnics. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. Well, because that's it is. Great. It is. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Ah, it is. It is. It is. It is uh, we have to be careful. It is dangerous. It is no, dangerous. but it's it's fun, you know. Working with electricity is fun. I yes. Mean, I don't used to work electricity as much as I did before, but it's pretty interesting. Pretty yes. interesting. In my case. So interesting. I was, I focused more on, let's see, well, I used to work uh, with lines. Uh, I don't know how to say that in English. Dinero? Excuse me, you know what is a Do you know what is a dinero here? No. The guys that are like uh, fixing up the primary cables on the, from uh, 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 from the for the electricity, que nos trabajan con líneas primarias. Yeah, yeah, I, I, but I don't know, I don't know the name. Líneas primarias. Okay, if you go out on the street, you got you got uh, three lines that are like down, and sometimes you got one or two that go up. Yes. Okay. So those, those are secondary or sometimes they're primary. You got primaries. Those are like, uh, let's see, 32,060 something thousand volts. And also the ones from that go on the, on the big, big ones, like uh, we call here Torres. I used to work with that also. This is very dangerous, teacher. I know, part. it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> but I was young. Ah, yeah. 
Ah, you are, you are young. No, I was young. I mean, at that time, I was like 19 years old. So, Many years you ago. know, when you are 19, when you are that young, you don't care for your life. <laughs> yes. Yes, we, we, uh, uno hace, we made many things dangerous, but we didn't. Yeah. We don't, in, in, this, in this age, we didn't think about danger. Yeah, but, well, good for you, my friend. Welcome to the class. Thank you for sharing with us. Good teacher. Hey, Frank, how are you? Hello, hello, teacher. Sorry. Um, I'm fine. I'm a little bit tired because it was a, a busy day, but I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Well, that's nice. That's nice. And tell me, what's new? Do you work well, tomorrow? Uh, but well, uh, tomorrow I just I have a like a. Technique visit. I don't know if it's correct. If it's correct. Could be. I will. I will wake up uh, about six a.m. because I need to go to. I have to go to. Uh, I don't know, uh, near to Playa El Tunco, but it's Chiltipan. Chiltipan. I have to go to Chiltipan. That's not near to play El Tunco, my friend. <laughs> no, not too much. <laughs> no, no, that's not. I was living there for five years. It's okay. not, believe me. Okay, no, no, not as much. But it's in, in you took that way, way, right? Yeah, yeah it's on the way. way. What you gonna yeah. go do there? Uh, we are uh, developing like a inventory of of trees, I don't know if it's correct because. Oh really? Yes, because it's necessary to to do a, a environmental study uh, because they want to build a a like a residential there. Up there, where yeah. to? Where where exactly? Um, I don't know if you know uh, Finca Thermopilas. Uh, yeah, I know Thermopilas. I told you I was living there. Oh, okay. So uh, in that in that place, they want to build a like a re residential, but in a countryside style. Do you know? Yeah, like cause... like wow, cabañas. But... Yeah, but because the land there, I mean. Yeah, it's very regular there. Yeah. The yeah. Topography, I don't know if topography is correct. Yeah. yeah, but it's 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 gonna be heavy work. Yeah, it's very tough. Because there. I mean there you go, you go down, and I mean really down, it's hilly. Really, yes, yeah, very hilly, yeah. So they want to build a like a residential there. So we we are uh, collaborating with the with the study, environmental study, yeah. so. Ooh, but Thermopylas, oh man. It's a big. Good coffee, good coffee. Yes, was good very coffee good coffee. And pretty fresh, many things. Yes. They want to, they want to keep that uh, kind of a style with the uh, coffee trees and the, uh, all the all the trees around the houses. It's a very wow. ambitious. It's a very ambitious project. Yeah, and it's gonna be a very expensive project. Yeah, yeah. Besides of that, I mean the the land in some some areas are like uh, it's clay. Yes. Many of those areas, the land is is not is not dirt. It's clay. You know that word? It's no, no, bubble. no. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Bubble. See, yeah, yeah, a lot. Oh, okay. Exactly, exactly from, let's see. Yeah, from Thermopylas, all the way from Thermopylas up and going down, it's clay, a lot. All of that is, is clay, just clay. 
perhaps a 50 percent wow yeah yeah it, yeah. Could, it could be a very very hard project but very ambitious yeah, too. it's it's gonna be because and believe me i have walked the whole the <laughs> whole uh the whole land i've been working there and it's terrible yeah, it, it's a Easy. it's a very beautiful place around there yeah, it's nice it's nice. yeah it's I very nice i really enjoy living there yeah so tomorrow we we are doing that inventory of the trees because they want they obviously they they will I don't know how to say talar. Yeah, cut down. They they will cut down a lot of those trees, right? Of this, yeah. Yes. So the the study demands that they uh, inventory those trees. Well, be careful on your driving. Thank you. Thank you. Because that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. That role that role is dangerous. Yeah, it's very healing. So watch out. Very Thank healing you, yeah. and also so many curves. Yeah, yeah, of course. But then I mean if, if that's my plan. Used, if you're not used to them, better go slow. Yeah, 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 I know. But that's my plan for tomorrow morning. And then I will go to Santa Ana. Oh. I guess. Oh yeah, to, to your to your to your yeah. parents house right yeah to my that's parents nice. house yes so that's, that's my nice plan. let's hope you have a good weekend my friend welcome to the class thank you thank you teacher okay let's see let's see who else is around hey fernando hey teacher good evening good evening how are you um i'm fine teacher hey, today was your short day right uh yeah. sort of in a way <laughs> yeah let's say it was sorry let's say it was digamos que sí. okay let's say it was ah, okay yeah yeah but but i i arrived in early at my home around really what time 6 p.m Oh, man, that's not a lot <laughs> but, but com yeah, comparison hours, right? with yeah, yeah. Two hours, two hours and a half. Yeah, that was yeah. early. Well, at least, at least you could be home earlier, relax a little bit, right? All right, teacher. But in the week is over so tomorrow, but tomorrow I will do uh, house shopping and shopping at the mall because this weekend uh, we need to go to to sh to shop, not to buy um, vegetables, you know, groceries. Groceries, groceries, right? Yeah, but uh, Sunday, I, I, I hope that I will relax because this week was very, very hard for me. Yeah, I can imagine. Besides the fact that, I mean, you are used to being home, working from home. Yeah. And I start like traveling. I mean, you have extra stress just from the traffic, right? yeah yeah the traffic the traffic the also in, in i don't have a nanny for my children oh uh, bec because they my my mood my i mean my my way to, to work so yeah. i don't need a a, a person a complete time all the all the day and yeah. i just have a full person time that full time full time I just have a, a person that I help me with with some things. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I understand you. But yeah, this but... it was very complicated about that. So I really yeah. need a nanny a full time. And that's another expense, more yeah. worries. Yeah. Yes. I mean complex all the time. Yeah, but let's is... hope it. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Okay. Be patient. Yeah. yeah what else so. can we do? Nah, nothing. Yeah, <laughs> only, I mean, there's no way out. Only do we do the best effort. 
Sure. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking about when, when I heard you about you will study tomorrow, I think in about them, about it, I consider uh, starting a new career too. Cool, that's great. That's great. The same goes for Wilfredo. You see, he's gonna start studying again. That's cool. I mean, yeah. if it's possible for you, if you can make it, I mean, it's just a little effort, but it's a great satisfaction. Yeah. And also it's personal development. I mean, actually that's a win-win situation. Yeah, what, uh, what career did you start? Me, uh, school administration. School administration, oh, okay. In my case, I, I, I think about laws. I could be Ooh. a lawyer one day, maybe. I don't know. Why not? Law. <laughs> you say law. Law. Okay, law. Law. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, my, my problem is the time. Because, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, <laughs> because I have in a, I have my, um, I don't have the, 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 a super economy, but I I can do it. Yeah, it's but, possible. I mean, I mean, we need to make an effort, cut back on some expenses, and and see what happens. Yeah. yeah uh, you um, know, in my case, the the most difficult thing for me is going to be actually one subject. That's one subject that I hate. It is the first subject that I'm going to have tomorrow: statistics. Statistic, the numbers. Yeah, I like numbers. I love physics, but I as math is no problem for me. But statistics, man, uh, I hate it. I, I just the, not my thing. The graph. It's just it's boring oh, no. for me. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It has a uh, a lot of topic that. I consider boring too. Yeah, it's boring for me. I mean, it's not the matter that it's too difficult, it's that it's boring. Yeah, but it, it has uh, some interesting topics too. Yeah, sure. I mean, I know that. I'm sure of that. <laughs> the problem is that, uh, as I told you, it's boring for me. So I know that it, it has some good things, but what I need to change mostly is my attitude towards it. Okay. And, and what do you do you choose that career? Thing? Oh, actually, because uh, in first off, uh, it's kind of interesting, and besides, I mean, I don't, I don't want to to, I want to diversified but in my in my same area oh, it could okay. open the worst the it could open some doors for me to work in the in administrative area and also uh, i mean i have left go some opportunities because i don't have that special oh, okay. and and some of my friends being like pushing me for years, like, do it, man, we can move you here. I mean, what? I could have been working uh, uh, in, uh, in the Ministry of Education in the main building, like 12 years ago, if I have had that, that title. Okay. So yeah. it's gonna be helpful for me. And even if I don't move, it's gonna automatically, as soon as I get that title, I just need to pass one test and it's 100 bucks more oh, okay. monthly. It's okay. a race. Yeah. Okay. So it's that's, worried. A, that's a good, a good motivation. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good motivation. Yeah, I mean, cool, 100 bucks is like, wow, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And, and besides that, it's an area that is kind of interesting for me. So why not? I but mean, do, you, do you have the, 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 the advantage that 
you don't have children or oh, a little children no but the disadvantage is my, that my son is also at the university ah yeah for the expense yeah yeah terrible yeah. but i mean as i told you you need to make an effort you need to cut back on some stuff and minimize yeah it's possible sometimes it will worry yeah mr a pleasure talking to you welcome thank you erwin hello hello teacher good evening good evening how are you um really good <laughs> that's nice how's the dolce is it dolce Dolce, dolce. Is In Italian. Yeah. Is it dolce? I'm sorry? Is it dolce? Yes, of course. It's dolce. Yeah, the problem is that io yeah. non parlo. It's a, it's, a, it's a good place, but um, maybe one of the points that I need to work is to give the restaurant uh, to the to the basis when the the founder uh, think how to to the restaurant uh, can need to to go uh, in order to be an Italian restaurant uh, I I am I was today I was uh, studying the menu and maybe uh, we need to change a lot in the in the menu and um, I, I don't remember if I talked to you about the why the name of the of the restaurant not sure please um, okay it's it's because it, it's because the one one movie from the 60s oh, yeah, you told is, me. this name uh, la, la, vi, eh, yeah. la, la dolce vita and I, I am thinking that we need to relaunch the 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 how to say marca brand tray tra Marca is brand, 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 brand. Uh, a, a relaunch of, of the brand. And uh, I was uh, talking with uh, the, uh, a designer and um, maybe on Monday, I am going to have the new logo, uh, Isotipo. Yeah. This is the name, okay. okay. So uh, maybe with uh, some different colors, but with the same design. Uh, the design of the logo is a movie ticket from the nice. 60s, 70s, 80s. It's, uh, uh, and we, we want to, uh, to retain, to but, uh, tenerlo siempre. To keep it. To keep. Keep it, keep uh, to to keeping, uh, to keeping and uh, the, the same um, style of the logo. So oh, cool. um, today I was talking with the designer, and she told me that maybe some changes with the colors, but uh, a change of the uh, the form. Uh, the change. Change. Uh -huh, change. change? No, the shape instead of the form. Uh, well, the, the the changes are focuses on the. No, no, no. What I mean is this: you told me that they are going to change the form, right? Yes, la la forma. Okay, the shape. The shape. Okay, the shape of the of the logo, but my, maintaining the main idea too. Okay, uh, that's nice. Uh, and after that, this is the the first step 
to change everything. Uh, the linear graphic, gra graphic, graphic, yeah, the graphic line design or, design or the graphic lines. Graphic lines. Uh, the, that's include uh, uniform for the people, the menu, uh, banners, uh, um, advertisements, and something like that. So uh, I think that you, we are- You keep busy. Yeah, a lot of work. That's I, nice. I well, was, perhaps let me know when it's ready, ready, so I, we can, uh, I can, uh, Andra Mangiare. That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Uh, le, le parla I can go it. Molto bene. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I've been trying to learn. Nowadays, I have, I have said uh, I am working on my schedule in order to, to leave some space because I want to learn and I'm going to be working like this uh, starting this week. I cannot start in the following one. As soon as I finish this module, I'm going to be working like in the mornings. I'm going to be studying French and in the, at night, I'm going to be studying Italian. Okay. It's so, a, I, I think that this so beautiful, this, this language. Yeah, um, I, have a, I have a friend, I have a friend from Italy. Uh, his name is Carlo, Carlo Laiolo. Uh, he's a professor. Um, professore. Professore, yeah. Uh, uh, he sometimes teach me some words or some phrases uh, in, Ital in, in Italian. So, I, I like this language. It's, it's a beautiful language. It's yeah. a beautiful language. And if you have that opportunity to take it, man, that's nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, welcome, Mervyn. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you guys. Believe it or not, man, I'm so sorry. Time, time has flown by me. Let me get the second attendance. I'm Barelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Uh, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Uh, Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present yo. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you, Jose. Marcela Namiba Tres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Okay, guys. Well, uh, for the rest of you, uh, Walter, Marcela, Susana, Roxana, let's see who else I couldn't talk to, uh, Francisco. Hello, good evening. Uh, well, it's nice, it's been nice talking to you guys, uh, getting new vocabulary, listening to, to your explanations of the activities you are you have performed or are going to perform. And 
It's also nice to see the, the way in which you are expressing yourself. Uh, the goal of the activity, and that's why the last three classes I've been like spending longer time in the greetings is because I want you to get more used to, to, to holding one-on-one -on -one conversations. And perhaps if you haven't noticed, something that has changed in this type of conversations is that I have increased the speed in which I'm speaking. Actually, when I'm having the conversation one-on-one -on -one with you, I have started speaking faster. The idea is for you to get acquainted with uh, not just speaking in English, not just listening in English, but holding conversations with different types of people because you know, not everybody is going to talk to you slow. Actually, my, my regular speed of speaking English is like this. It's not that slow. And the idea is to start pushing you up in order to get to that level. Of course, sometimes when I'm like explaining grammar or stuff like vocabulary that is kind of complicated, I slow down in order for you to catch up so you can like uh, grasp the whole idea. But when on one-on-one -on -one conversations, we are going to be speaking like this fast. And I'm going to be like pushing you to speak faster. That's why also some of you in some cases, I was like uh, interrupting, throwing questions in the middle of the conversation because that happens on a regular conversation, okay? And I am explaining this to you so you don't get like bored because I remember that Ana Claudia told me, look, I'm almost asleep and you talk too much. So, that's why I'm talking so, that much right now. Now, let's see. Uh, I didn't say activities. that. No, I'm kidding, Ana Claudia, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, yesterday, we were working with transitions of results. And I told you that we were going to be working a little bit more with that topic. Actually, supposedly that topic was going to be finished uh, yesterday, but I feel that we need to work a little bit more on it. Remember, uh, when we talk about transitions or result, we are talking about connectors, connectors between a cause and a result, as simple as that. You have a cause, you have a result, and the word or the phrase that connects those two ideas are the transitions of result. And of course, the vocabulary that we were watching yesterday was pretty easy. As a consequence, as a result, consequently, therefore, I mean, no big deal. With the punctuation in those cases, I told you, it's just a matter of style, okay? It's just a matter of style, right? It's like, uh, you know, tonight, Marta connected uh, pretty early to the class. Therefore, we have the chance to have a very calm conversation right at the beginning. Okay. Uh, Wilfredo's skills are going to church on Sunday morning. Consequently, he will go with them. Simple, no? I mean, and that's common happen. So remember, when the when we talk about punctuation, it's just a matter of style. In order to divide the two clauses, you just need the period or semicolon and then a comma. Let me just show it to you so we can remember it. Here we go. This is what we were watching yesterday, right? So we have, when the transition is positioned in between two clauses, the punctuation can be as follows. The label information was wrong, period. As a consequence, the packages were put in the incorrect bins. Remember, instead of a period, it could have been a semicolon and it's exactly the same idea. What's the only difference? Perhaps when you are speaking, the only difference is the type of pose you do. Why? Because 
Semicolon, it's a longer pose than a comma, but shorter than a period. That's the only difference. Remember, semicolon is a pose that is shorter than a period, but longer than a comma. That's all. And as I told you before, it's a matter of style. Which is style, right? Not necessarily. It's a matter of style when you are speaking. This rule like is in, similar in Spanish, right? You got me there. To be honest with you, my 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 Spanish grammar and my Spanish uh, Spanish uh, punctuation, and I am so sorry for the word, guys. Sucks. I am bad, bad in that. So. I don't remember the rule in Spanish, but if, if you say so, I defer to your to your opinion, my friend. I am so sorry. It's just that in Spanish punctuation, I am not good. I guess it's so many years working just with uh, the other language. But uh, yeah, poses. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you're right. I remember that in Spanish, comma is shorter than period, I don't know the rule for semicolon, but also in English, the semicolon specifically divides a cause and a consequence. Specifically, it can be also used for that. One of the rules has got two, let's see, it's got one, two, three, four, four different applications, and one of them for the semicolon is to divide a cause and a consequence. Okay, now let's continue. Any question before I move on? No, okay. Now, we did this exercise. You remember we removed items from cartons and packages. Here, we could have said semicolon, as a result, comma, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box, period, capital, consequently, comma, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items and rebox them. The warehouse doesn't have enough dogs, semicolon, therefore we have to put products in the ales. The conveyor belt broke, semicolon, as a consequence, comma, there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. And as I told you, it could have been the other, the other way, period and then comma. It's just a matter of your style, okay? Now guys, let's see, we got uh, vocabulary. Oh, I'm sorry, I was highlighting this. Uh, we got inbound process, layout and floating, picking, packing, chipping, Managing returns. Okay, layout and loading. That expression, oh, I will try to, 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 to explain to you. When we talk about uh, layout and loading, It's the way in which you, it has to do with the logistic of a warehouse, okay? Specifically in the way in which you store the products, okay? The layout is the position. The loading, the layout is the positioning of the, of, I don't know, stacks that you have or the boxing, that's the layout. And loading is how you're gonna order them, file them, perhaps in little in little trays or perhaps in boxes, on stacks. That's layout and loading. It's actually a term that is, I mean, when you are talking about a warehouse, it's a term that is not divided. I mean, it's, it's one term. Layer and slowly. 
completely because if you try to uh, when you try to look for for um, for the word if you look for slowing you're going to get something like um, oh you know the the man I don't know how to explain it. I know the meaning. It's ranurar, something that you do to, to paper when you like uh, uh, you get a notebook or a book and you start like putting this little uh, this thing on the books. That's that's slow. That's too slow. Sorry. But in this case, layout and slowing refers specifically to ordenado inteligente. I don't know if that makes sense to you. And it refers to the warehouse conditioning and laying of products. I'll give you the explanation that we got here. Let me share with you. Perhaps watching the example is easier for you. Okay, let's see. Layout and slowly. It's a uh, no, no. Okay, here. This is layout and slow. Fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separated. Okay, that's layout and slowly. Exactly that. Now, which is going to be your exercise? Well, I just gave you one. You need to place the other five. We got inbound processes, layout, picking, packing, shipping, and managing returns. Okay. I'm going to give you uh, five minutes so you can work on this. I'm going to share the image in the group. Don't worry. And I need you to work in small groups. Just let me check. Perfect. Groups are created. Please jump in. And I'm sending the image to you right about now.
Okay, who else is going to get number two? Excellent. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gone, I'm gone. Sala, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I understand at the first one, okay? I'm no the customer account. Mm. Mm. Inbound process is I don't know. Inbound process. Oh, déjeme ver, quiero ver. Ahí tengo. Tell me, Stephanie. No, I was trying to, to read what do you do about picking and packing. Ah, I'm picking and packing. Yeah, I'm going to the right packaging, complete and right there, the screen, and yeah, the, the right. Managing returns. Managing managing returns can be managing returns can be the six number six. I don't know. It's gonna be easy to Yeah, the right audience what? must be on the right vehicle and at the right time with the right delivery manifest. In number two, este, and those is good news. And those is news. And then, and then check it off yes. against the original order. And the information has to be logged ag sorry, ag against the customer against. account. Against. Against against again, 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 against against is in process. What do you do? <laughs> I know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very less picking. 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 <laughs> Hmm. Pick. I was trying to read about picking and, and packing. <laughs> and says that pack that picking is first, <laughs> and then is packing. But I don't understand the the difference of. Oh yes, the picking. Picking. Hmm. Picking mm. the preparation of the products that has been recollected from the packing, the preparation of the products. This is good be honest and check it against of the region. All of the information has been made against the customer account. Against. Okay. Picking uh, the six. I think it's managing, managing, managing returns. Return. Items need to be checked. Oh, I know. These goods need to be unknown and then check off again. The first one we said that was speaking. Speaking. The first one. Speaking packing. of packing. The first packing, one. Packing. Oh my God. The second is uh, speaking. I think the last one is managing returns. <laughs> and, and number two. No, the number is six, I think. Just let me find what is shipping. 
it must be easy for your pick pickers to find eating and then and their journey the between eating shipping shipping what does it mean shipping shipping transporte Shipping. Okay, the right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. Oh my shipping. God, I see so bad. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, shipping is number six. Six. Yes. Okay. Keep Managing the terms. And if the first one is packing. So we just yes. have we just have picking. Picking is number Inbound four. Process. Picking is number four. I don't know. I I guess. Inbound process meaning. I don't know what is it. Support teams typically monitor inbound centers since the calls tend to come from existing customer issues. Okay, it's something about it. Okay, it is. Uh, I think the number two is inbound process. Number two, management. yes, yes. Number two, managing. These goods needs to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order and the information has to be logged against the customer account. Managing. <laughs> Number three, inbound managing process. Returns. Number three, inbound process. Okay. Inbound process. Number four, picking. It must and be easy. Items need to be checked and locked as they are received and put away in the correct bin. The correct bin or, and or bin. And could be uh, picking. picking. Yes. So, no, yes, sería. yes, sure. Number one is packing. Number two, managing returns. Number three, inbound, inbound process. processes. Inbound process. Number four, picking. picking. And, and number six, layout and sloping. Shipping. shipping. Okay. In about items need to be checked and locked as they are received and put away in the correct. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I just have a question because I, I try to find what does mean inbound process and it says that is something about about the when they go to the to the customer service this is not right or inbound processes items yeah. need to be checked and logged as they are received mm -hmm. and put away in the correct bins or packed for dispatch without further storage remember that inbound refers to entrante processos del producto entrante como procesos del producto que ingresa oh Items oh, need to be checked bit. and uh, logged as they are received, as they are received, okay? Yeah, and then they say that it has to be in the correct bin. And I find okay. that that means contenedores as yeah, contenedores. in Spanish. <laughs> Shipping, packing, 
Christmas orders the pack. Packed in the right packaging, complete. Picking. The good to Okay, let's see, almost everybody's here. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ambar, tell me number one. Okay. Your orders must be packed in the right package, packaging, complete with an accurate con content slip and added to a delivery manifest for the patch. Packing. Okay, packing. Perfect, Ambar. Excellent. Now just remember, Amber, accurate, accurate. Accurate. Perfect. Jose Wilfredo, please, number two. I'm sorry, teacher, I was speaking on mute. But the number two, we discuss that is managing, managing return. Okay, it's managing, 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 remember, managing, managing returns. Returns, perfect. Managing returns, excellent. Fernando, number three, please. Number three, uh, I'm not sure, but I think, well, my group thinks is inbound processes. Okay, inbound. Inbound, okay, inbound. Inbound processes. Perfect. Walter, number four. Number four is uh, picking. Excellent, Walter. Number five, let's see. Marcela. I can't see the text. 
Well, the, we you told us that is layout and is looting. Layout. Layout and excluding. And slurring. Slurring. Thank you. And number six, of course, is shipping. Right? Now, just a uh, barrel first. So let's see, uh, Jose Wilfredo, please read it. Number two. Okay, says, this will need to be unloaded and then check off against the original order. And the information has to be loaded against the customer's account. Perfect. Fernando, read number three, please. Inbound processes. Items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins or patch for dispatch without further storage. Okay, remember, remember, remember. Fact, fact, fact. Act like that, perfect, fact. Walter, please read number four. It must be easy for your pickers, the pickers, and their journey. Um, journey and tie between errands and between orders should be and minimizing. Minimize. It Minimize. must be easy. Thank you, Walter. It must be easy for your pickers to find items and their journey time between items and between orders should be minimized. Marcela, number five, please read it. Fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that, that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be se separate, separate, separated. Separated. Perfect. Excellent. 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 Rebecca, number six, please. Rebecca. Okay, let's see who's gonna help us instead. Uh, Frank, please. The right orders, the right orders must be on right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery man manifest. Okay, perfect. Excellent guys, pretty well done. Now let me get rid of this. And let's move on. Okay. Now, we are going to talk about issues. Remember, when we use this word, problems, situations, related, problematic situations, that's issues, related to warehouse management. Okay. Exercise. Imagine you are a warehouse manager and you are experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced products. Which of the following issues would you solve first? Rank the issues from one, less affects productivity, to five, most affects productivity. Discuss the ranking with a partner. So we got inaccurate receipts and purchase orders, lack of communication between employees, lack of cooperation between departments, time management, warehouse space and organization. Okay, those are the ones that you will have to order. Remember, between one to five. Okay, guys, I'm sending you to the groups right now so you can work. And I'm sending the image to the other group so you can check it out if you need it.
face and the image already. Let's see. Groups, groups, groups. Maybe warehouse space and organization. Number two, inaugurate receipts, 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 and purchase orders. And uh, number one, time management. What do you think? Uh, I'm just checking the. I remember I saw something in the platform i don't remember if i resolved it but i solved it solve i solved it. it oh i'm sorry why would be the difference between solve and resolve good question i mean resolve and solve ah you know that's why i don't <laughs> I'm like i'm sorry you. but, but i know i always that's put why you i don't in... like you uh -huh. you know whenever i I start to think, man, I can get to love this girl. You come out with this type of questions and I get like, ah. Ah, come on. You're the professor okay. for me. Okay, okay, okay. It's just that they are different. Okay, okay. But, but the now, usage, look, is what the usage look, look. or what? No, no, no. The soul usually refers to, to the, the first place. Of, fin of finding a correct answer to a problem. Okay. okay. That's solved. But when we use resolve, you are talking about bringing the problem to a name or a conclusion. Okay. So solve refer refers to the process of finding the solution. Resolve mm -hmm. is at the end. Okay. When you bring the problem to the end or a conclusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm telling you is this, that there is no uh, answer for resolving a problem, but there is for solving a problem. Why? Because when you say solving a problem, oh, we are talking about the process of finding the correct answer. Okay. To resolve something refers to bringing it to an end. It's finished. Ah, okay. Got it. Solve, solve is about discovery. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Is discover. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, got it. Got it. Thank you. Be whereas when you talk about result, you are talking about uh, it can refer to about solving a problem between many people. Like right now, you are solving a problem, right? Mm -hmm. But not everyone perhaps is satisfied with Erwin's proposition in order to solve the problem. You have mm. different ideas. Okay? Uh -huh. okay. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, Me and my so, questions. <laughs> no, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's just that, uh, you know, we always try to go the easiest way and it's nice that you make me remember some stuff that <laughs> sometimes i don't it's not that i don't remember it's just that i'm not that you don't commonly use them mm -hmm. i don't commonly explain ah okay you don't commonly explain okay please continue sorry for okay no problem uh well erwin Mm, I was looking at the platform and I got as a number one, the inaccurate uh, receipts and purchase order. That is what show us number one. We okay. said number. Is, it, is it in the platform, I'm sorry. Exactly. And I, I, hadn't, I haven't seen this class, but I went Which in a different is? way. If this is the number uh, 3.3 and exercise, yes, 3.3. 3. 
Maybe it's the one that I was going to work on tonight. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised at that order because I was just <laughs> clicking in because it's just two on each one. Well, I was trying the best, but I don't know if because the platform also sometimes. No, has it's just that. No, the thing is this if you notice the instructions in the platform, it says select five common. Issues, issues ah, but related there is to warehouse model. processes in the platform, uh -huh. they are not asking you to put them in the order. order. Ah, they are no, not asking I... you the order. They are asking okay. you which of the options is an issue related to warehouse No, is that 3.7? I'm sorry. The 3.7 is, uh, is that one. I'm sorry. You are right. The 3.7. And the number one shows us warehouse space and organization. Yeah, 3.7. Oh, wow. The number, number one, one. Uh -huh. warehouse space and organization. 3.7 is the, is the homework. Yeah. But I don't know if the platform is correct because you know sometimes- Yeah, that's number one. Correct. No, 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 no. It's just that- uh... Okay, let's do something. Okay, but exactly that. In that case, you are talking about, <laughs> oh, there's a process. Uh -huh. There's a process already stated due to the, to the, to the expiration date of the huh? product. That's, product. That's, that conditions, that conditions the order of priorities. Mm, okay. But, what about if it's a product that is not influenced by that aspect? Mm -hmm. The process, the order changes it, automatically. Exactly. That got it. Okay, got it. So don't worry in that exercise, don't worry for the order, the order. for the mm -hmm. platform. Yeah. And the one that is the platform says, I mean, it's not on stone, okay? Mm -hmm. It can vary, as you said, according to the type of product, like mm -hmm. for Erwin, his priorities when he's in charge of the restaurant. His priorities are not the same as if he's in charge of another area. Correct. If I mean, if Erwin is talking about food, okay, he will. His priorities vary instead. In, instead of if he's talking about drinks, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or shoes, which has yeah. no expiration date, or. <laughs> Mm, got it. Yeah, but Susan and Francisco are pretty quiet, no, guys? Hello. <laughs> Sue. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Oh, there's Susan. There's Susan. <laughs> and there's <Hi>. Francisco. <laughs> Yeah, the situation is that right now in the in the manual, the manual is is giving us pretty specific situations mm -hmm. related to the area. Remember that the name of the course is English for Work. So of course the manual is always going to to try to send us to a specific area, and it's technical English. That's why in in my regular classes I try to to take you out of that specific context because you need both. You need that one and you need everyday English also. Okay. Yes, that's right. But it's actually it's interesting because also the vocabulary we are checking here, like uh, in some cases for some of you comes handy, right? Because mm -hmm. you use it and it's related to your to your workplaces. For me, I'm not, I'm not uh, working with this type of, of, of jobs, but I was uh, telling to Erwin that it's so amazing that, for example, when you go to the supermarket, you just don't imagine all the background that is involved in, in the organization, the warehouse. You just go to the supermarket and you always know that in the whole number one, you can find this and this. And that, yeah. oh my God, yeah, he you was don't expecting... Start, you don't... You don't stop to think about the logistics. Involved. 
Exactly, exactly. Wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as I was telling you, unless you are like really, really into the, the, the company, unless you have lived that experience, I mean, it's something that you don't even think about. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so everyone, I think, yes, I agree with you. The say the number one is time management, right? Okay. I th you, uh, that is what you say? I remember. Yes. Okay, time management. And which one you have? Uh, so number two, the communication, the lack of, or which one? No. Um, Incurator receive 